Do you ever get that feeling you're being watched? The point of this exercise, for me anyway, is to uh, learn how to create B-roll better so I can get uh, a more fluid workflow so that I can actually focus on talking to you while still getting some cool footage from overhead. God. Walking on these sorts of beaches is always hard work. Okay, time to start hunting. I think I'm in the right neck of the woods for a composition. But it's busy, very busy. Got these great rocks, sharp edged, mixed up with these sort of smoother smaller rocks and foreground so there's something around here somewhere but where I'm not quite sure but I'm thinking that over there is possibly a good spot for a lead-in line for incoming waves leading through to these larger rocks just offshore there's got to be something here somewhere found something I'm convinced there we go that's my image this little swirling pool here but I better be quick because the water is coming in fast so sorry if I ignore you So I'm getting out of here while I still can. Arr! Didn't realize the water was coming around behind me. Rookie error. The rocks are slippery as well, so I'm gonna have to take my time. So I'll leave it running, because it could make for a spectacular video. It's good to get that shot. If I just get one shot this afternoon, I'll be happy. But I'm going to try for a couple more. But I think I'm going to wait for the tide to come in a bit first. And then see what happens with the light. Um, but I'm also going to go and fly the drone around this little cove. Because it's quite sheltered. So the nesting gulls appear to be taking more of an interest in the drone at the moment. They certainly um, were naturally drawn to it, I would say. So any advice, if anybody has anything, uh, drop me a comment or send me a message, uh, whatever you, can, you want to, and let me know if you've had some experience. It would be good to know. This is where 
remembering to bring the correct lenses would have come in handy. Now, nothing I could do. This was going to be a, a trade-off drone or 70 to, 70 to 200. So I chose to bring the drone. I've got the 24 to 70. I would like to compress this depth of field more. Sorry, compress this perspective more. But I can't. If I go any further back, I'll lose the composition. Um, it's a really nice composition. I think it's going to be okay at 70 millimeters, though. Show you what I'm looking at. 20 seconds seems to be about perfect. So, I'm going to wait for a good set of waves, which looks like the one. There's one coming now. Yep. There we go. But I'll show you the finished version anyway. But I like it. Simple, balanced. Yeah, lovely. I've just been uh, talking to a guy. Well, I've <laughs> been talked at by a guy. It was an interesting conversation. He started off just being interested in photography. That's just great. I'm always happy to talk to people about photography. Um, and he showed me some of his pictures on his camera. They were pretty good, actually. Not bad. And uh, I'm not quite sure how he got to it. He ended up telling me about how he went into a shop and saw a postcard or, a, or a, a print, small print, of some photographer's image of Elon Donnan Castle on the uh, west coast near Skye. And he said it was a, f a fantastic image, a really fantastic image. And he proceeded to tell me that instead of purchasing said image, he pulled out his camera, took a picture of it, and then went home and printed out the picture from his phone, from his camera. And he was really proud of himself. I, I, I promptly finished the conversation because uh, <laughs> life's too short. But oh my god, it's just so sad. It's just theft, plain and simple. I hate that. I really hate that. There you go. That's a special way of theft. I've never come across that before. It must have been a murky mess. Oh well. That's a shame. So he's not only murdered the girl's image, he's stolen it. Right, I'm gonna get on with it. Um, I've wasted too much of my day today talking to that guy. Right then, well, I think it's time to go home. It's been a good, decent day, so fingers crossed. Um, we've got some images in the bag. All right, let's see if this transition works.